How are you? Are you fine? Okay, in previous class, what we discussed? We discussed about division of fraction. Is it? Yes. Any doubt from that section? What do you mean by division of fraction? That means when we divide two fractions, then what we do? That is a by b is a fraction and also c by b is a fraction. Then we want to divide a by b divide c by b. Then what we do? That is a by b into b by c. We take the reciprocal of the divisor. That is c by b. What is the reciprocal of c by d? That is c by d. Reciprocal of c by d is d by c. Is it? Yes. This is the procedure of division of two factors. Can we start today class? Okay. That is first we discuss division of a two fraction. Division of two fraction. For example, three by five divided by one by two. We want to find three by five divided one by two. We also we know that is division of fraction. That is three by five into two by one. Two by one. That is, we take the reciprocal of 1 by 2. Reciprocal of 1 by 2 means 2 by 1. That is also equal to 2. That is also equal to 2. That is, that means when we multiply a fraction into a whole number, we multiply numerator into whole number, then we get the product. That is 3 into 2 divided by 5. 3 into 2 divided by 5. That is what, what we get? We get 6 by 5. Answer is 6 by 5. And next one is 1 by 2 division 3 by 5. Anyone can say the answer? That is 1 by 2 into 3 by 5 means 5 by 3. 5 by 3. That is 1 into 5 divided by 1 into 5 divided by 2 into 3. 2 into 3. That is 5 by 6. What is the final answer? 5 by 6. That is we multiply numerator into numerator as numerator, denominator into denominator as denominator. Okay, that is 1 by 2 divide division 3 by 5, answer is 5 by 6. And next one is what? 2 and 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 5 2 and 1 by 2 division 3 by 5 that means 2 and 1 by 2 means this is a mixture fra fraction so we want to convert into improper fraction so that is 2 into 2 plus 1 divided by 2 division 3 by 5 3 by 5. Is it? Yes. That is 2 into 2. What is 2 into 2 is 4. 4 plus 1. We get 5. So 5 by 2 division 3 by 5. That is in next step we want we can write 5 by 2 into 5 by 3. That is we take the reciprocal of 3 by 5. That is we take the reciprocal of 3 by 5, that is reciprocal of 3 by 5 is 5 by 3. That is what you mean by reciprocal. 
B interchange is the position of numerator and denominator. B get the reciprocal. B get the reciprocal. That is, we can write 5 into 5, 5 into 5 divided by 2 into 3. 2 into 3. That is, we get 25 by 6. 25 by 6. That is, we can write 25 by 6. 25 by 6 means this is a improper fraction so we can write in mixture fraction that is 25 division 6 that is we get 4 4 and 6 we get 24 and remainder is 1 that is we can write mixture fraction as quotient into remainder by division that is answer is 4 and 1 by 6 4 and 1 by 6 answer any doubt? Any doubt? Okay. And this one is five and one by six division nine by two. Five and one by six division nine by two. That is, we can write. Here is a mixture fraction, so we want to convert into improper fraction. That is 5 into 6 plus 1 divided by 6 division 9 by 2. That is, what is 5 into 6? 5 into 6 is 30. 30 plus 1, 31. 31 by 6, 31 by 6 division 9 by 2. That is, we can write 31 by 6 into we want to take the reciprocal of 9 by 2 that is 2 by 9. Reciprocal of 9 by 2 is 2 by 9. That is, reciprocal means we interchange the position of numerator and denominator. So, we can write 2 by 9. 2 by 9. That is, 31 into 2 divided by 6 into 9. 6 into 9. That is 31 into 2 means we get 62. We get 62. Is it? Yes. And 6 into 9, what we get? We get what? That is 54. 54. That is, this is an improper fraction. Why? This is an improper fraction. Why? Because numerator is bigger and denominator is smaller. Is it? Yes. Then what we can write? What we can write? Here also we can take or simplify. Here is 2 is common factor. So we can write 62 that is 31 by 27. Is it? Yes. And 31 by 27 also a improper fraction. Is it? Yes. Also a improper fraction. So we can write 1 and 4 by 27. 1 and 4 by 27. This is the answer for this one. That is 5 and 1 by 6 division 9 by 2. We get answer 1 and 4 by 27. And next we are going to discuss our exercise 2.4. That is page number is 46. Page number is 46. Page number is 46. That is, first question is, what is our first question? First question is, tall divided 3 by 4. That is, what is the answer? Here is, tall is a whole number. Is it? Yes, tall is a whole number. And 3 by 4 is a factor. Is it? Yes. 
Then three by four is a fraction. Told me is a whole number. Then we want to find the division. That is third into. Here is we want to take the reciprocal divisor. That is we get four by three. Four by three. That is we interchange the position of numerator and denominator. So we get third into four by three. That is third into four. By three, that is, we can write third into four. What we get? That is forty-eight by three. We can simplify. That is, we get sixteen. We get sixteen as answer. That is, here is three is common factor. Sixteen into three, we get. Forty-eight. So answer is sixty. Answer is sixty. And next one is next one is what forty divided by forty divided by forty divided by or division division by five by six five by six. That is what is answer. Anyone can say. Can you follow me? Okay. What is the answer? What is this step? Please tell me. That is fourteen into fourteen into yes. That is right answer. That is fourteen into six by five. Fourteen into six by five. Is it? Yes. That is. Here we take six by five means we take the reciprocal of Five by six, that is fourteen into six whole divided by five, that is. What is the answer of fourteen into six? That is four into six, twenty-four. Two is carry out, and one into six, six, and six plus two, eight. We get answer is. We get the answer is. 84. We get the answer is 84. That is 84 by 5. 84 by 5. That is this is a improper fraction. This is a improper fraction. So we want to convert into mixture fraction. That is what is the answer? That is we get we want to divide 84 by 5. That is we get 1 5. Three, four, thirty-four, six times thirty. Remainder is four. Remainder is four. So we can write sixteen and four by five. Sixteen and four by five. Sixteen and four by five. That is the answer. That is the answer. That is third. That is fourteen divided by. Five by six or fourteen division five by six. We get the answer is sixty and four by five. And this one is third one. What is third one? Eight divided by. Eight divided by seven by three. Eight divided by seven by three. That is what is the answer? What is the answer? That is what what we want to take. That is we want to take the reciprocal of seven by three. That is equal to eight into. Three by seven. Eight into three by seven. That is, we take the reciprocal of the we take the reciprocal of seven by three. That is three by seven. That is, next step, eight into three divided by seven. We get twenty-four by seven. 
24 by 7. This is not final answer. Why? Because it is an improper fraction. What is improper fraction? That is numerator is big and denominator is small. So we want to convert improper fraction into mixture fraction. That is we can write here we can write what we can write 24 divided by 7. That is 3 times 21. Remainder is 3. So 3 and 3 by 7. 3 and 3 by 7. Answer is 3 and 3 by 7. Is it? Is it right? Yes. <coughs> so this is the answer. 8 divided by 7 by 3. That is answer is 3 and 3 by 7. And next one is for your Roman. Fourth one, 4 divided by 8 by 3. That is for your Roman. 4 divided by 8 by 3. 4 division 8 by 3. Page number is 46. Exercise 2.4. And next one, fifth one is. Fifth one is. Fifth one is. What is the question? 3 divided or 3 division 2 and 1 by 3. 2 and 1 by 3. That is the divisor is a mixture fraction. Divisor is a mixture fraction. So we want to convert mixture fraction into improper fraction. That is 3 divided or division 2 and 1 by 3 means 2 into 3 plus 1 by 3 that is necessary 3 divide 2 into 3 6 6 plus 1 7 that is 7 by 3 7 by 3 that is necessary that is we know what we know that is we know the division of whole number and fraction that is here 3 division 7 by 3 that is 3 into 3 by 7 3 into 3 by 7. That is 9 by 7. 9 by 7. That is 3 into 3. We get product as 9. So we can write 9 by 7. That is 1 and 2 by 7. 1 and 2 by 7. Is it? 1 and 2 by 7. We can write. Is it? Yes, 1 and 2 by 7. And next one is same as the procedure. Also, fifth, sixth one is also for your homework. That is, fifth, 5 division 3 and 4 by 7. 3 and 4 by 7. And next one is second question. Find the reciprocal of. What is the second question? Just I read. Find the reciprocal of each of the following fraction. Classify the reciprocals as proper fraction, improper fraction and whole numbers. We want to classify proper fraction, improper fraction and whole numbers. That is first one is second question. First one is what is we want to find the reciprocal of 3 by 7. 3 by 7. What is the reciprocal of 3 by 7. What is the reciprocal of 3 by 7? That is 7 by 3. Reciprocal of 3 by 7 is 7 by 3. That is improper fraction. Improper fraction. Improper fraction. Is it? Is it? Yes. And next one is B. What is B? B is 5 by 8. 5 by 8. 5 by 8. 5 by 8. What is the reciprocal of 5 by 8? That is B get 8 by 5. That is reciprocal of 5 by 8 is 8 by 5. That is also an improper fraction. Improper fraction, is it? Yes. 
and next one is what? Nine by seven. Nine by seven. We get seven by nine. We get seven by nine. That is a proper fraction. That is a proper fraction. That is a proper fraction. Why? That is seven is numerator and nine is denominator. Here numerator is small and denominator is high or bigger. So we can say what we can say. We can say this is a proper fraction. This is a proper fraction. When we take the reciprocal of nine by seven, we get seven by nine and it is a proper fraction. It is a proper fraction. Okay. Next one is. Six by five. Six by five. Six by five. What is the answer? That is five by six. Answer is five by six. Five by six. That is a proper fraction. That is a proper fraction. That is. 6 by 5 means 5 by 6. The reciprocal of 6 by 5 is 5 by 6. We change the position of numerator and denominator. Then we get 5 by 6. That is a proper fraction. And this one is what? 12 by 7. 12 by 7. 12 by 7. That is. We get seven by twelve. We get seven by twelve. That is also a proper fraction. That is also a proper fraction. Is it? Yes. That is we get when we take the reciprocal of twelve by seven. We get answer as seven by twelve. Seven by twelve. We say proper fraction because the numerator is small and denominator is bigger and Next one is next one is one by eight. One by eight. One by eight. Fifth one. So it's sixth one. One by eight. The reciprocal of one by eight is eight by one. That means. Eight. That means eight. That is eight is a. But is eight is what? Eight is a whole number. Eight is a whole number. Eight is a whole number. That is it. When we take the reciprocal of one by eight, we get eight by one. That is eight. That is a whole number. Eight is a whole number. And sixth one is. Six answer of six one is eight. That is whole number. And seventh one is for your homework. That is question is one by eleven. We want to find or we want to take the reciprocal of one by eleven. Then what we get and what is the property for which improper or proper or whole number? Which category? That is answer is for reciprocal is which category? We want to find and third question is. Third one is what? Find, find seven by three divided two. Seven by three divided two. That is, we want to find the division of factors, fractions, and whole numbers. That is, seven by three division two. That is. What is the answer? Seven by three into two. What is the reciprocal of two? That is one by two. That is one by two. That is seven into one by three into two. That is we get seven by six. Seven by six. Is it? Yes. We get. Seven by six. That is what is the answer? 
this is a improper fraction so we can write 1 and 1 by 6 1 and 1 by 6 is it yes that is 7 by 6 equal to 1 and 1 by 6 that is we get 7 by 6 that is we want to find 7 by 3 division 2 that is 7 by 3 reciprocal of 2 2 means 2 by 1 2 means 2 by 1 that is when we take the reciprocal of a whole number that is 1 by that whole number 1 by that whole number 4 4 is a whole number what is the reciprocal of 4 1 by 4 5 is a whole number what is the reciprocal of 5 that is 1 by 5 6 is a whole number what is the reciprocal of 6 that is 1 by 6 1 by 6 is it yes so in general a is a whole number then what is the reciprocal of a that is 1 by a here 2 is a whole number and when we take the reciprocal of 2 we get 1 by 2 that is 7 by 3 into 1 by 2 we get 7 by 6 we get 7 by 6 is it yes next question is
in question number three, that is fourth part, that is we want to find four and one by three division three. Easy. Yes. That is what is the answer? That is here four and one by three is a mixture fraction, so we want to convert four and one by three. Is it? Yes. That is four into three plus one. Divided by three division three division three. That is four and three means twelve. Twelve plus one thirty. Thirty by three division three division three. That is twelve by three into one by three. Twelve by three into one by three. That is. Here, not told. Thirteen by three into one by three. That is thirteen by three division three. Four and three we get told. Told plus one thirty. Is it told plus one thirty? Thirty by three division three and thirty by three into one by three. That is thirty into one by three into three. We get thirty by nine. Thirteen by nine. That is, this is an improper fraction. So we can write one and four by nine. One and four by nine. One and four by nine. Is it? Yes. Is it correct? Yes. That is answer of four and one by three division three. We get thirteen by nine. That is one and four by nine. Answer is one and four by nine. And the solution is what is our solution? Fifth one is fifth question is three and one by two division four. Three and one by two division four. Three and one by two division four. That is, we can write here what we can write. Three and one by two means three into two plus one by two division four. Division four. That is three into two means six. Six plus one. That is seven. Seven by two. Division four. Division four. That is seven by two into one by four. Seven by two into one by four. That is seven into one by two into four. That is seven by eight. Seven by eight. Seven by eight. Is it correct? Yes. Seven by eight. Answer is seven by. And next one is four and three by seven division seven. That is for your homework. You can find same procedure. That is we take same procedure in question number one, two, three. Is it? We are familiar with the procedures. So six one is also for your homework. That is next question is what is our next question? Fourth one. Find, find two by five, two by five division one by two, two by five division one by two. Is it? Yes. We want to find the answer. That is, these are two fractions. That is, two by five is a fraction and one by two is a also a fraction. Is it? So, what is the answer? Two by five into one by two means two by one. That is, we take the reciprocal of one by two. That is, one by two is two by one. So we can write two into two by five into one. That is four by five. 
and is 4 by 5. Answer is 4 by 5. And next one is what is the next one? Next one is second one. What is second one? That is 4 by 9 division. 2 by 3. 4 by 9 division 2 by 3. 4 by 9 division 2 by 3. That is 4 by 9 into we take the reciprocal of 2 by 3. That is we get 3 by 2. We get 3 by 2. Is it? Is it? Yes. That is 4 into 3, 4 into 3 divided by 9 into 2. 4 into 3 divided by 9 into 2. That is 12 by 80. 12 by 80. That is here we can take the common factors. So when we simplify this factor, this fraction, when we simplify this fraction, that is we get 2 by 3 2 by 3 that is 6 is a common factor that is 2 into 6 12 and 3 into 6 18 that is answer is 2 by 3 answer is 2 by 3 is it? yes and next one is Third one, 3 by 7 division, 8 by 7, 3 by 7 division, 8 by 7. What is the system? That is, 3 by 7 into 8 by 7. That is, we can write 3 into 7 divided by 7 into 8. Is it? We take the reciprocal of divisor that is 8 by 7, that is 7 by 8, that is in numerator and denominator there is 7. That is here the operation is, first we consider the operation, here is multiplication. So we can cancel the, we can cancel the 7. That is 7 is common, so we can write what is the final answer? 3 by 8. Final answer is 3 by 8. Final answer is 3 by 8. Is it? Yes. That is 3 by 8 is the final answer. And next one is. Fourth one. 2 and. 2 and 1 by 3 division 3 by 5. 2 and 1 by 3 division 3 by 5. That is our four question. That is here is what is here is a mixture fraction. That is 2 and 1 by 3 means 2 into 3 plus 1 by 3. Division 3 by 5. Division 3 by 5. That is 2 and 3 means 6. 6 plus 1, 7. 7 by 3. Division 3 by 5. That is next step. We can write 7 by 3 into 5 by 3. 7 by 3 into 5 by 3. That is 35 by 9. 35 by 9. That is 7 into 5, we get 35. 3 into 3, we get 9. That is, this is an improper fraction, so we can write 3, 3 and 8 by 9. 3 and 8 by 9. We can write 3 and 8 by 9.
is it? Is it right? Yes. When we divide 35 by 9, we get 3 times, that is 3 into 9, we get 27 and remainder is 8. So we can write 3 and 8 by 9. And this is is, what is this is? 51. 51 is, what is 51? 3 and 1 by 2 division 8 by 3. 3 and 1 by 2 division 8 by 3. That is, we can write here 3 and 1 by 2 is a mixed fraction. So, we can write 3 into 2 plus 1 divided by 2 divided by 2 division 8 by 3. Division 8 by 3. That is 3 into 2 means 6. 6 plus 1, 7. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes. That is 3 into 2, 6, 7 by 2, division 8 by 3. That is here 7 by 2 into, we take the reciprocal of 8 by 3, that is 3 by 8, that is 21 by 3. 21 by 60. 21 by 60. That is 7 into 3 we get 21. 2 into 8 we get 60. That is this is an improper fraction. So we can write what we can write. We can write 1 and 5 by 60. 1 and 5 by 60. That is here 21 is numerator. That is numerator is larger and 60 is denominator and denominator is smaller. So we can write what we can write. That is 1 and 1 and 5 by 60. 1 and 5 by 60. Is it? Yes. Is it? Yes. That is, this is improper fraction. So we can write 1 and 5 by 60. And this one is 6 to 6. This is the what is our this is the 2 by 5 division 2 by 5 division 1 and 1 by 2 2 by 5 division 1 and 1 by 2 that is 2 by 5 divided or division 1 and 1 by 2 means 3 by 2 1 and 1 by 2 means 3 by 2 that is we can write 2 by 5 division 2 by 5 division 3 by 2, that is 3 by 2 means 1 by 1 by 2, that is 1 into 2 plus 1 by 2, that is 2 plus 1, 3, 3 by 2. That is, here we can write 2 by 5 into 2 by 3, that is 4 by 15, that is 4 by 15, answer is 4 by 15, answer is 4 by 15. And next one is, what is our next one? Next one is, seventh one. That is, what is our question? 3 and 1 by 5, 3 and 1 by 5, division. 3 and 1 by 5, division. 1 and 2 by 5. 1 and 2 by 3. That is, here, 2 mixed fraction. So, we want to convert into improper fraction. 3 and 1 by 5 means 3 into 5. 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 division. 1 into 3 plus 2 division 3. That is, 3 into 5, 15. 15 plus 1 we get 16, that is 16 by 5 divided or division 1 into 3, 3, 3 plus 2, we get 5 by 3, we get 5 by 3, that is next step, 16 by 5 into, we take the reciprocal of 5 by 3, that is 3 by 5, that is 16 into 3 by 5 into 5. That is, when we multiply the 16 into 3, 
we get 48 by 25 by 25 this is the answer and last one question is or last one question is what is that is our last question is eight question two and one by five division one and one by five one and one by five that is here we can write two and one by five means two into five plus one division five here also main division so one into five plus one divided by 5 that is here we get 2 into 5 10 10 plus 1 11 11 by 5 division 1 and 1 by 5 that is 1 into 5 plus 1 by 5 that is 6 by 5 6 by 5 that is 15 that is here 11 by 5 into we take the reciprocal of 6 by 5 that is 5 by 6 next step 11 into 5 by 5 into 6 in operation here is the we consider the operation operation is multiplication so we can cancel the 5 and 5 so we get 11 by 6 answer is 11 by 6 that is improper fraction so we can write 1 and 5 by 6 one and five by six. One and five by six. That is the answer. When we divide two and one by five, division one and one by five, we get one and five by six. This is the answer. Okay. I conclude my class. See you in next class. Bye. Take care.